Glitch effects have been around for decades now and they still remain one of the most popular effects in filmmaking and video editing industries. In this tutorial we'll have a detailed look at one of the many methods of creating a nice looking glitch effect. Welcome to Smartima Graphics, my name is George and before we proceed to the tutorial I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here or if you'd like to support me by a tiny bit. Thank you either way guys and let's get to the tutorial. As always let's start by creating a new composition. The name doesn't matter, click OK. Then let's create some text, select the type tool, type glitch effect and center the text like that. Then right click, new solid, let's name this fractal Then go to effects and presets, search for fractal noise and apply this effect to the fractal solid layer. Set fractal type to max, noise type to block, increase contrast 180, brightness, set it to minus 35, then expand the transform properties, unlink uniform scaling, set scale width to 6000, very high, then alt click the evolution stopwatch, then type times, asterisk 1000, this will give it a very quick animation, exactly what we need. Once that's done, go ahead, right click the fractal, precompose, make sure to check move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. And then we can hide the layer, then right click, new adjustment layer, let's name this displacement. By the way, I'm naming these layers just to stay organized and you don't have to do that. Then search for displacement map effect and apply it to the displacement adjustment layer. Then set displacement map layer to fractal. And you can see that we're already getting some sort of distortions. So let's set max and vertical, uh, max horizontal and vertical displacements to zero. And go to the beginning of our timeline, create keyframes for both horizontal and vertical displacements. And what I like to do is move five frames forward and just change the value by a touch. And press U to reveal the keyframes, select all of them, right click toggle hold keyframe. Hold keyframes are very useful in this case because what they do is they hold on to a specific value until the next keyframe is reached. You can do the same with normal keyframes but it will take you twice if not triple the amount of time and effort. So very useful while designing glitch effects especially. So then move five frames forward just keeping changing the values go like that you know just play around with it get creative and you can set values to zero here and there just to sort of better highlight the glitch effect say set both to zero let it be that like that for a couple of frames and then just increase the glitch effect once again and once you're done adjusting and you have something that you're happy with make sure your last keyframe is set to zero and yeah you can go ahead and preview this pretty crazy Good glitch effect. Then select all the layers, right click, recompose, and let's name this glitch. Now we'll be creating that RGB split that, well, almost any glitch has to have. So go to effects and presets and search for shift channels and apply this to the glitch layer. Set take red from red and take green from full off, take blue from full off. Then duplicate the glitch layer, set take red right from full off, now turn green back on, duplicate the layer, turn off green and bring back the blue, set take blue from blue, move one frame and offset each layer by one frame. So creating this staircase. Make sure to select top two layers and set the mode to screen. And now it should look exactly like that. So having that RGB split going, very nice. Then right click, new adjustment layer. Let's call this optics. Go to effects and presets and search for optics compensation and add it to the adjustment layer. Check reverse lens distortion and crank the value all the way up and create a keyframe. Then move five frames forward and just change the value a bit. Press U to reveal the keyframes and we're going to do the same thing. Right click, toggle hold keyframes and pretty much repeat the steps done previously. Keep moving five or 10 frames forward and just adjusting the value as you see fit. 
And of course, once you're done adjusting everything, set value to zero, so it snaps back. We need to create some sort of background for this. So right click, new, solid, BG. Make sure it's black and bring it underneath our layers. Then right click, new, adjustment layer. Let's name this one noise and search for noise effect and add normal noise to our noise adjustment layer. Set the amount of noise to 12 and then check use color noise and actually set it to 16 if you like. Right click new adjustment layer. Yep. And call this one glow. Let's add glow effect. It'll be under stylize. It's all the way down like that and add it to the glow adjustment layer. And let's move forward a bit. Let's actually increase the glow radius to 20 and glow threshold to 35. Select our glow, duplicate it. And for the glow two, set the glow radius to 100. Oh, actually it's 200 and increase the threshold to well, something like 80%. So this is what we have at the moment. So pretty cool effect, but let's add another effect. Let's go back to optics. Let's add another effect here. Invert. So you don't have to add this. This is sort of optional because, well, some people might not like this. This makes an entire glitch effect more intense. So let's create a keyframe for blend with original and set the value to 100. Again, move, say, three frames forward, one, two, three, and set the value to zero. Press U to reveal the keyframe. Select them all, toggle whole keyframe. Then move three frames forward, set this to 100, one, two, three, again, set this to zero. And you can just keep doing that. You can just select the um, keyframes, copy and paste them to save some time. So once you're done adjusting the keyframes, you can preview what we have. So this is how our glitch effect looks like when it's final and complete. So very nice, subtle, and easy to create glitch effect. And that's how we create a very nice looking glitch effect let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That helps me out a lot. Also, please consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind later. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next tutorial.